Hi, my name is Holly and I'm with Perpetual Fitness Training. Thank you for joining me today. As you can see, I just had a great workout. We did a cardio session together and I'm ready now to do some weightlifting. Now that I'm warmed up, I can just get right into it. So today there will be no warm up. We will do a cool down and a stretching session afterwards, but please make sure you're warmed up before you begin this next session. The things that you will need will be a stability ball and a set of weights, potentially. If you're new to working out, you probably won't need any weights at all. We're gonna use that body weight. We're really gonna work that core. We have a lot to do. We only have an hour to do it. So let's go ahead and begin. Okay, I have my timer set. We're ready to go. We're gonna get right into it. So I'm gonna show you what we're going to do. I love to use the ball. It, it's such a great workout. You work the balance, the core, the whole time. Things that are important to work that a lot of times that people don't work enough of. So I'm going to preview the exercises first. If you don't have a stability ball, you can use a little like 10 inch playground ball for a lot of these, um, potentially even a rolled up towel for some of the things that we do against the wall. But if you don't have one, I do encourage you to get one. You can get these at any any store nowadays, really. Um, they have them at Target here in Texas. They have them at Academy, really just about anywhere. You can get them on Amazon. So first ones we're going to do, this one is going to be a wall squat. You're going to take the ball and it's going to fall somewhere between your mid back and your low back. And I do apologize for the camera angles. It's just not possible to shoot from another angle in this room. So we're just gonna do the best we can. Now you want your feet out wider or further away from your body than you think because you are going to come down. This is a hack squat. And then you're gonna squeeze up. We're using those glutes. Remember, we're not pulling up on those kneecaps. Down and up. Then we're going to turn around. You're going to hold on to the wall. We're going to take that ball behind us and we're gonna lean back into that front heel and really put a lot of pressure on this back leg. And we're just gonna go ahead and do that Bulgarian split squat. Now, if you wanna do a little bit more, you can bring that knee up, All right? And then we're gonna switch and do it the other side. But hold on to that wall for balance. If you don't have a wall, a chair works awesome, okay? Let's go ahead and begin. Oh, I do love these ones. <sighs> begin. And the reason I love these ones is because this is really the perfect form for a squat. You're leaning back, your chest is directly out of those hips, the crown of the head pointing to the ceiling. You're really working through those legs. Squeeze your glutes at the top here. You can go low. My knees much prefer to do squats this way than to do them the traditional way. I just don't get any pressure through those knees at all. It works great for all of my injuries. Make sure you're breathing here. Good. You're going to push up through those heels as you come up. And make sure when you come down, your knee and ankle are stacked. So you may have to walk your feet out a little further. As you warm up, see so if you can go lower. 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go straight into a Bulgarian split squat. We don't have a lot of time, so you wanna move quickly through this. Take your time though for balance, okay? I don't want anybody falling or getting hurt. Hold on to that wall. Ball comes back. Lean back. Bulgarian split squat. Knee and ankle are stacked. Reach and back. Try to breathe. Push through this front heel. Push as you come up. This back leg is really just for balance. You're getting a stretch here. Oh, can you hear that knee? Man, getting old is loud. 30 seconds, so we're halfway. Just breathe. 20 seconds. Squeeze your glutes at the top. I think I forgot to cue that. Tummy tight. You're kind of tucking your tailbone, pushing your hips forward. Five seconds. And we're going to switch. I'm just going to turn. Whoa. <laughs> and I lost it. I lost it right there, my balance. And I find that there's always one side that's easier than another. There we go. I got it now. <laughs> Knee and ankle stacked. Pushing through that heel. Squeeze the glutes at the top. 
That's really where you get a lot of difference. Get in that squeeze. Keep the crown of the head up toward the ceiling. Breathe. So a way to modify this one if you don't have a ball is place your foot on a chair and just go up and down. So you're not gonna be doing the rolling. You're just gonna be dropping up and down. Have another stair chair next to you, or if you can do it next to the wall for stability. If you really want a challenge, take your hand off the wall. <laughs> Round two. <sighs> Here we go. Low squeeze. Oh, feels good to get out of those barbarian split squats. Those ones are rough. So if you don't have a ball here, your modifier is just to do squats. Push through those heels as you come up. Tummy tight, squeeze. Now, I am not perfect <laughs> at all. I forget, my mind starts wandering and I'll forget to squeeze my glutes or I'll start off on the wrong foot. So don't take yourself too seriously. Life's too short. It's just not that big a deal. Laugh at yourself, move on. You're here, you're moving, and that's a win. Squeeze at the top. And when I stroke, just laugh at me. It's okay. My feelings will not be hurt. I'm laughing right along with you. Knee and ankle stacked. So you're really leaning back or reaching back with that back leg. Squeeze at the top, push through the heel. Almost lost my balance there. So if you're holding onto the wall, don't put a ton of pressure there. I do want you to work all those little joints, that core. So it's just light pressure. Or again, you can try this without. I just move a lot slower when I do that. So if I'm doing reps, I may work more on the balance or I'm going for time here. Then I'm gonna just hold on. And then I will humiliate myself. Perfect, okay. Squeeze up. I should hope you're playing some good music for me. Oh, it's a lot harder without music, I'm not gonna lie. But for taping purposes, it's much better without music. I want you to listen to what motivates you, that you can sing to. But of course, still hear me, right? Good, keep going. We're lucky today's a beautiful day here in South Texas. Not too hot yet. It's early still. It'll get there. It's a hurricane coming in the next couple days, so might get some rain. Okay, I'm just gonna roll this off to the side here. Grab a drink of water. I don't know that I can explain enough how important it is to hydrate. It's your energy level right there. You'll be surprised how little energy you have if you're dehydrating. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Okay, I'm gonna show you the next ones. We have a push up. Now, please, if you can't do this, without really being jiggly and not feeling comfortable, you can just place the ball against a wall to do these push-ups, okay? So, hands on either side, fingertips point toward the floor. You're in a modified plank with the ball slightly in front of you. You're gonna come down, touch your chest, push back up. If you can't get your chest to touch, that's fine. Do what you can. Second one, we're gonna come up onto the knees. It's gonna be an elbow squeeze. Five second hold, release. 
five second hold, release. Again, working through that chest. And then the last one's gonna be a lateral. This one's a little, a little different. So we're gonna work the core as well. So be aware, you probably feel your tummy. You're gonna come down into this modified position. You're gonna reach the arms out. You're gonna pull them in. And when you pull them in, you're driving the elbows into the ball, bringing the elbows to the rib cage. So they're gonna start out and you're gonna bring them in. That's the part that works the lats. It is a big core work though, so I'll show you a modifier as we do this. Let's start with those push-ups. Elbows out to the side, come back up. So because we're in this modified position, we're really working the core. Now, if you are strong, if you are a stallion, go ahead and come on up and do these into a full plank position. So let's see if I can do it. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> Do what you can. That hurts my shoulder. <laughs> I can only do a couple. I have a torn shoulder muscle, so ah, it prevents me from doing a lot of stuff right now, but it's all right, I'm gonna do what I can. It's not gonna stop me. <sighs> Inhale as you come down, exhale as you push away. <sighs> don't lock those elbows at the top. I don't know if you can see, it may look like I'm locking them, I'm not. They have just a very soft bend in them when I come up to the top. Ooh wee, feeling that chest. One more. All right, little break. So now we're gonna do that chest squeeze. Squeeze for five, five, four, three, two, one, and again. So if you don't have the ball or you don't wanna do this one, you can do a fly. You're gonna lay down on your back with your knees bent low back into the mat. You're gonna open those arms wide to the side and then bring them up to meet above the chest. Three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one. Elbows parallel to the floor. Take the ball away from the chest. Three, two, one, if you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Fingertips point up. Five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one. Abs tight, tuck your tailbone. Five, four, three, two, one. Give me a little glute squeeze too. Good, all right, oh, that row, these are rough, okay. You can take your palms together if you like. You can also interlace. I prefer to keep them separate. So the first couple start out real good. And then pretty soon you're either gonna feel your core or you're gonna feel those lats. Sometimes even into the shoulder as well, come to think of it. Keep that lower body still. You're just bringing the elbows toward the ribs. So a modifier for this one is just gonna be a seated lat row. at the top. All right, so this round I'm a lot shakier. Now if you can see me shaking, but as I come up, my whole chest muscle is just shaking. Breathe. Exhale as you do the work. So inhale down, exhale, push away. If your knees bother you on this set, just put an extra cushion underneath those knees. Just give it a pause, grab an extra cushion or an extra mat and stick it under your knees. Try not to come back in the hips. We want to try to keep those abs involved here. But if you need the break, take it. Give me your range of motion. Break. Elbows parallel to the floor. 90 degrees, hold. Five, four, three, 
two, one, release. Five, four, three, two, one. Try to inhale here, exhale on the squeeze. Really try to drive those elbows together. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Give me that glute squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Smile, you're having fun. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, hitch. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, here we go. Come on up. Don't be tight. Elbows in. Inhale. Exhale. Reach. Don't move that lower body. Slow and in control. Think about that muscle you're working. So if you don't know, this is your lap right here, right here. Give it a squeeze. You actually get a better work um, through that muscle if you're thinking about the muscle that you're trying to use. Just focus in on that back. Focus in on that core, keeping that tummy tight. We don't wanna drop those hips, right? If you need a break, you're gonna come back in between. Roll it out. Pull and come back. Okay. I'm moving. <laughs> One more. Good job. All right. Mop off. Water. Oh, all right. These are not pretty videos. These are real workouts. I'm really doing with you. So <laughs> you're gonna get the real me. Okay, next up. I believe these are our one legged. Just leave a pile of sweat everywhere. Okay, so this is a one legged squat. I'm going to do this against the wall. So I'm going to move this. I don't think I need it anyway for this next one. Because what I want is to have plenty of room. So what we're doing, I'm going to turn this way so you can see me at first. So you have the ball next to you. This arm here, this hand can be at the wall or it can be at your hip. This is going to be harder. This is going to be um, more stable. All right, so you get to pick your level. You're going to pick up the leg that's closest to the ball and you're going to squat with that outside leg, okay? So it's going to look like this, leaning in, squat, squeeze. Be careful, you'll want to squat with your knee forward. Squat with your butt back. Squeeze, not lifting up the knee, but squeezing the glute. Squeeze, squeeze. And then we're gonna do that other side. Okay, and then we get to do the seated ball position, which I actually like. Ooh, it's a little like a, remember the little Mickey Mouse hobby horse thingies? <laughs> the ball, am I seeing my age here? I don't know if they still even have those. You're going to straddle the ball. You're going to squeeze, release, squeeze, release. It is for those inner thighs. It's actually a pretty comfortable position because you're supported throughout that whole move, but don't be fooled. That is a tough one. So listen to your body. Let's go ahead and start. Get this started. Pick a side. Doesn't matter. Leg close to the ball lifts. The ball's in your hip. Hand can be on the wall for extra stability. Coming back into the glute. Knee and ankle stay stacked. We're not taking the knee over those toes. You can even reach that arm if you want, right? If that helps counterbalance you. Remember, one hand can be on the wall. Maybe you're right here. Maybe you don't have this range of motion. That's fine. All right, we're going to do what we can do. I think I like it with that arm forward, so that's what I'm going to do. Down. Exhale up. It's a great way to do a one-legged squat, nice and supported. Just 
Squeeze. So again, if you don't have a ball, you're just doing one-legged squat. You're pulling that tummy in tight, getting used to the balance, and then you can start going lower. Maybe you can drop that inside knee and touch the floor. I can't, <laughs> but maybe you can. See if you can do it. You're pushing kind of through that outside pinky toe, but staying in the heel. Tummy tight. Don't be afraid to just as you go. 20 seconds, breathe. A minute is a long time, but these aren't fast. All right, we're focusing on that balance, which focuses on our core and all the little muscles in the joints. One more. Oh, okay, take it down. Straddle the ball. Hold the ball. Squeeze, release. Five, five, four. Three, two, one. Oh, five, four, three, two, one. These are no joke. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay up tall, belly tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Feel those legs shake. Five, four, three, two, one. Driving those knees together. Three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. A little more balance and hands off the ball. Maybe you want them up here. Five, four, three, two, one. Drive those toes into the floor for more balance. Five, four, three, two. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, oh shaky. Okay, here we go. Inside knee up, reach back. I mean, reach forward. Your butt reaches back, but your arm reaches forward. Or, or maybe it's out here. Breathe. Squeeze. So because these workouts are real, right? Just like if I was teaching you in class, you're gonna hear the real noises that happen. I am in my home, that's the point. This isn't a fancy studio. I just found a space in my home. Just like you need to find a space in your home. And you're just gonna do it. You're gonna hear these sounds. You're not gonna let them distract you or stop you. You're gonna keep pushing through it. So you're gonna hear airplanes a lot. We live in a military base. Ah, so they're flying two for eights all the time. And that's what we hear. Here we go. Squeeze. I'd like to complain, but my husband was a fighter pilot in the military for 20 plus years, so I can't complain. He used to be one up there making all that noise. Reach and squeeze. Push through that heel. Ooh. Come on up, drop that knee. Can you touch the floor with it? Maybe tomorrow. 20 seconds. Stay in the heel, stay back. Oh, you feel that work? Wow, this is so effective. And not a single weight needed. <laughs> Five. <sighs> oh, good enough. All right, straddle that ball. <sighs> Up tall. Toes down. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, let the shaking begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two. One, five, four, three, two, 
one. You can do these with your hands on the wall. Four, three, two, one. Tummy tight, tailbone tucked a little bit. Four, three, two, one. Oh, it's shaking. Five, four, three, two, one. It's a whole lot of shaking for 20 seconds still. Four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. One more. Just hold, just hold, just hold, just hold. Oh, release. And go on. <laughs> Gotta tuck my legs in that one. All right. I'm gonna fix my mat because I'm gonna need this one for this next one here. Okay, maybe even my light weights. I might use them for a little bit, but probably not the whole time. Get that out of my way. I keep knocking it over. Okay, here we go. Preview. These triceps, I just saw what I have to do. Oh, these are tough. But I want you to do what you can, okay? Even if you can only get three done in one minute, great. That's three more than you were able to do before. So just do what you can. So we're gonna come onto the forearms in this modified plank. You're gonna push through those palms and come on up. And then you're gonna come back down. So you are seeing that there's a little bit of movement, but you notice how the movement is only in my upper body. I'm not pushing back, right? My lower body is steady. Me coming up on my hands is what's moving that body up. This is triceps, okay? So if you don't want to do that, that one, you can do a French press or maybe even kickbacks will be fine. Then we're going to move into IYT. IYT. So this is where you can use the weights. I, Y, T, Y, I, Y, T. Okay. So we're just going to do this. Our arms are parallel to the floor the entire time. So this is why you may not need weights. A minute is a long time to do that and you'll really feel it. Next up, we have stir the pot. So shoulders. Again, back into that position. We're going to use those shoulders and just move the ball around. You notice how my, my lower body stays put? Even my upper body stays put, right? And you're just gonna go in one direction. On the second round, we're gonna change it and go the opposite direction. So just remember your directions. Okay, here we go. Modified, tummy tight, forearms down, tummy press up. Exhale, inhale. Exhale. It won't take you long to feel those triceps. Big exhale. Tummy tight. Oh, man, they're hitting. We still have 30 seconds here, so we're only about halfway. Take a break if you need to. If you want a more advanced version, you do this in full plank. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> you can also do it on the floor. You basically go from laying on your tummy to coming up into a modified plank. There you go. Oh, I'm so hard. Okay, I almost forgot what we were doing. Here we go. I. Y, T, Y, I. Okay. I want you to think about those shoulders. They are pushed down away from the ears. Think about creating room through that shoulder joint. Keep your gaze at the floor. You can see I'm not looking up at you at all. I don't want you to strain your neck. Move slowly through these moves. Y, T, Y, I. You can feel those shoulders. This might be an opportunity to kind of catch your breath a little bit. 20 seconds. Breathe. If you don't have weights and it's really easy, 
Grab weights. If you're using weights and it's super hard, drop those weights. So now we have to stir the pot. All right, here we go. I'm moving to the right first, my right. Shoulder blades down. You gotta really focus here. Now your arms do move a little bit in here, so just kind of readjust them. Pull it in, reach it out. Again, you're working the tummy here. We're getting so much core today. My favorite way to do core without doing really core. <laughs> Just by holding a lot of these need, kneel down positions, trying to balance all that extra core. That's why yoga is so good. Round, five seconds, pull in. Round, pull in. Ugh. All right, back to those triceps. Forearms, modified plank. Press up. So remember, if your knees don't like the floor, pad up, we're padding underneath. Modification for this one, front press or kick back. Inhale, exhale. seconds. I have to really focus on this one or get to talk to y'all. My triceps are always sore after doing this one. Five seconds. You should feel no pain through those elbows. I guess I should have mentioned that earlier. <laughs> you never feel pain anyway. You stop. Okay. I, Y, T, Y, I. Shoulder blades down, arms parallel to the floor. Feet are helping to keep you stable. Breathe. Let it be smooth, making room in the shoulder. You should feel no shoulder pain. When you come into that T, let's have those palms facing the floor. And then when you're in the I, the palms are facing each other. So it's just kind of a slow transition with that wrist turn. All right, it should be getting heavy. Eight seconds. Try to stay with it. Shoulder blades down, don't lift up in the shoulders. And done. Stir the pot. Tummy tight to the left for me. Big circles. Trying to keep that core nice and tight. That ball got away from me. Tummy tight. If you need to, you can kind of come back, but I don't really want you to do that. I really want you to try to let the shoulders do the full rotation. If you come back in those hips, then you're helping those shoulders out. So try to just let the shoulders do all the work. thigh work. You're going to be in a lunge and the ball is going to be against the wall. So it's going to come up. You're going to be in this big lunge and you're just going to push your knees in 
and then release. So just like we've done before, it's the five second hold as you're pushing it in. That leg's gonna be jiggly <clears throat> and that's okay. Then we're gonna turn and we're gonna do the other side. The last one is a plie and this might be where you want some weight. <clears throat> that out of the way. So the plie, knees toward the toes. You're gonna take it down, five second pulse. And then you're gonna lift up. If you wanna make it a little harder, it's on your toes. It's gonna bring more quad into it, okay? So, whichever works for you. Let me grab my timer. All right, fall into the walk. Big lunge, push, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Push, three, two, one. So you're not only gonna feel the inner thigh push, you're gonna feel right here in that glute. Two, one. So it's working two muscles. Push, very efficient. Release. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Five, four, three, two, one. We have about 15 seconds. Five, four, up tall, kind of lean back. I was leaning down. Bad, bad example. Five, four, three, two, one. One more time. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, just switch. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Leaning back. Belly's tight. Heart lifts. Release. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Really push that knee in. Five. That's where you get this on. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm all shaky. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Five, four, lean back. Three, tummy tight. Release. 15 seconds. Release. Five, four, three, two. Release. Last time. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Into those plies. Wait if you want it. I'll just grab one. All right. Tuck your tailbone under. Knees out. Pulse. Four, three, two, one. Pull up. Five, four, three, two, one. Pull up. Now maybe toe raise. Up on your toes. Three, two, one. Five. Go straight down. Four, three, two, one. One, squeeze up, knees stay behind your toes. Three, two, one. You're also opening up your knees. So what I mean by that is you're pushing them backward, push them back. Five, four, three, two, one. Pull, five, four, three, two. Bring those knees together, pull up through your core. Five, four, three, two, one. Down, last one, just stay here. A couple extra pulses. And take it up. All right, back into that knee squeeze. When you're ready, five, four, three, two, one, release. Push, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Chest up. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two. Stay in that lunge. Push back on that back heel. Lean back just a little bit. So you're also getting this stretch through this left leg. Four, three, two, one. Or the leg that's closest to the wall. Five, four, three, Two, one, oh, five, four, three, two. We have one more. Here we go. Hold, 
Hold until it stops beeping. Take it up and switch. Oh, man. Oh, man. And again, five, four. This is a hold. Two, one, release. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, the shaking's already. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Into that back heel. Four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two. We have 20 seconds. Here we go. Come on. This is the one that makes all the difference. These last few. Release. Five, four, three, two. Two more. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. And until it stops beeping, push. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Here it is. Take your time. Make sure you get it right before you come down. Three, two. You're going to do five at the bottom and squeeze up, right? Maybe you're right here pushing those heels down. Or maybe you're going up a step and taking the heels up. Three, two, I can get my pulsing right. Squeeze up. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, knees out toward the toes. 30 seconds. This is the last one. And we're gonna switch up our exercises, go back to the upper body. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two. I'd like to tell you this is the worst one, but really, the worst leg one's coming up. <sighs> it's worse in a good way, right? Really worse those muscles. You're gonna feel it. Stay here. Oh. Okay. Sip of water. Oh. Sip of water. We're gonna fix this. I don't need these. Oh. Okay. Oh, man. Preview. Okay, core. So a lot of people think core is just your belly. Core is also your back. So that's a lot of what we're working on on this one. We are going to do a breast stroke. So we're working not only through our shoulder, but that does work our low back. Then we're gonna do a bird dog, which is gonna work the spine and the belly, stabilizing. And then the last one is gonna be a Superman where we're just lifting the lower legs up off the floor and the ball is kind of right in the middle. So let me demonstrate. So here, again, it's very important that you look at the floor. Do not look side to side. Do not look at your screen. If you need that screen and you wanna see what you're doing, you need to take it right underneath you, okay? Otherwise, just listen to what I'm saying. So if you've never done a breaststroke, it's palms together as you reach out, you pull those arms back, elbows to the sides, and that's where you lift the heart, and then you're gonna come back down. Lift, okay? If you've never done it before, <laughs> just lift as you bring those arms up. It doesn't matter that it's exactly the best breaststroke. I'm not a swimmer, so mine is probably not anywhere near what it's supposed to be. Bird dog, we're gonna come up just a little bit, and we're gonna work right here. All right, so it's not too much balance, so much as is back and belly, all right, because the ball is helping us with the balance on this one. The last one, you're gonna be on your forearms, legs are gonna dangle, you're gonna squeeze and lift them off the floor. The squeeze is happening through the glutes and the low back. I don't want you to use the spine. I mean, it is a, it is a muscle work, but you'll understand when you get into that position. The lift needs to come from the low back and the glutes, not from trying to to fold the spine in half, okay? So we'll see if that makes sense once you get down there. So let's go ahead and begin this. Your knees are wide, your toes are down. Make sure you have padding if you need them. Stack the hands, bring them out, and bring it up. Exhale, inhale, elbows to the sides. You're lifting tall. I want you to keep that gaze at the floor. Even when your chest is lifted, we're trying to keep that neck in line. Reach, pull back. Reach, pull back and lift the heart. Reach, 
Pull back, shoulders down. The shoulders stay down for this whole move. Even when you're reaching over your head, you're pulling your shoulder blades down toward the hips, creating space between the shoulder and the ear. Inhale. Whatever breathing pattern works for you. On this one, it really doesn't matter too much. Some of them it does, but not this one. Mine kind of hits depending on when I'm talking and when I'm just breathing. Four. Okay, so come on to all fours. Wrists right under the shoulders, knees as close to under the hips as you can get them. Tummy tight, lift, and then you're gonna switch. This is gonna be a bit of balance. When you lift that leg, you're squeezing the glute. When you're lifting the arm, the shoulder blade is down and you're just reaching it directly up and out. And even though your belly's against that ball, I want you to pull your belly button in, bracing the stomach, almost like you're trying to pull that belly button into your spine. When you bring that arm down, make sure that wrist is underneath the shoulder. Want good alignment, 20 seconds. Breathe. Good, good. Keep it going. Five. One more. Okay, down to the forearms. Bring everything onto those forearms. Legs are wide, tummy tight, toes down. Here we go. We're going to squeeze the glutes and lift. Squeeze and lift. Exhale up. This one you want to definitely exhale up. Inhale on the way down. Take as much time between the reps as you need. I want you to feel that burn through that low back. A burn through the low back is generally fine. Sharp pains or not. Numbness is not. So you need to stop doing this work if you're feeling any of those last two things. But a burn is good. That's the muscle working. Most people don't have strong backs. They forget. They work their core and they don't work that low back. They help each other to keep that spine straight and protect your back. Good. Breaststroke, so we're coming back. You can kind of sit back in child's pose if you need to get that little back a break. All right, stack the palms, palms up, lift. This is the one where we're gazing at the floor. We're not looking up or to the sides. Pull those elbows in. So if you're a swimmer, you probably have a breathing pattern here. In this instance, it doesn't matter because our faces are not in the water. Obviously, you don't want to breathe in if your face is in the water. So if that helps you think of a breathing pattern, that's fine. It's really whatever works. Good. Reach those arms out, keeping those shoulders down. 20 seconds left. You may be feeling this in the back. I feel it from about my mid-back down to my low back. Shoulder blades down. You can use weight here too if you want to get a little bit more shoulder. Five. I guess I could have mentioned that earlier. <laughs> Doesn't do good when you only have two reps left, huh? All right, here we go. So it's for the next time you do it. Next time you do this routine, if you want to use light weights right there, you can. Abs are in. We are squeezing the glutes. We're pulling that belly button in tight, supporting the back as we lift the arm and opposite leg up. Taking breaks as you need to. We're only about halfway through. We still have 30 seconds. Wrist right underneath that shoulder when you bring that arm down. That leg doesn't come any higher than parallel to the floor. It's just a glute squeeze. So we are working that glute a bit there. But I want you to focus on this one in that core. 
Give me one more. All right, Superman, come on down. Tummy's tight. All right, leg lift. Release it down. Maybe you need to take some extra time. Maybe you're done. And you need to just sit back and round that back. You have to listen to your body here. Listen to your doctors. Anything that they've told you not to do or signs to look out for. If your doctor didn't say anything, you may want to ask that question. Poses I can't do. Things I need to watch out for that tell me I'm, I've moved too far. I've taken it too far. You still have 20 seconds. Exhale, lift. Inhale, drop. So you can sit back with the ball. You can take that ball out and sit back. You can remove the ball and you can do cat and cow. This is my personal favorite. But it's just to release that low back, to just release that. As soon as you get, especially in this position, you'll feel that stretch. Okay. Keep going if you need to. I need some water and a little towel off. Oh, a sweaty one. Okay, guys, we still have a few more to go. Three more, three more sets. We can do it. Uh, but we're just gonna keep moving on. You can hit pause if you need more time, but I would like to show you the next one. Okay, I'm gonna apologize. <laughs> Please don't hate me after this one. Okay, so again, we're back to that squat. So remember how I said there's one more that's just the hardest one. This one to me is the hardest set. It's a goblet squat. So just like a regular squat, but your toes are open. Great, your heels are a little bit more forward so that when you squat down, your knees are in line with the ankles. They're not going over your toes, all right? So the first one is just goblet squat, toe raise. Hear all that crack and pop, snap, crackle, pop. The second one is a three count. One, two, three, lowest point. One, two, three, squeeze together, okay? The last one, this is the one that really gets my legs. Five, four, three, two, up, yeah. Wait if you'd like it. I don't need it. All right, so find that good positioning, feet hip width apart, toes open. Here we go. Up and down, we're gonna come up on the toes. So after you do this a couple times, this is where you're gonna go, oh, I need to adjust my feet. Go ahead and adjust them. Take your time. Sometimes they'll travel, in which case you just walk them back. If you're on a floor like mine and you find that they move, just kind of wet the bottoms. The basketball trick. Learn that basketball. And then you have grip. And you're gonna be like, oh, that's gross. And you don't wanna slip. <sighs> Down as low as you can. You're gonna feel deep into that hip joint, right? So where it gets it deep into that hip, it also hits up into your quad. So I like this version, which is pretty good. 10 seconds. The next two get rougher and rougher as you go. At least for me, your legs may be stronger than mine. You've decided goblet squats are my Achilles heel. Okay. Three down, three up. One, two, three, one, two. Squeeze, pull up through your core. So much like the plie. One, push through your heels, pull up. One, two, three. I want that tailbone to go directly toward the floor. Do not push your tailbone back toward the wall. Directly to the floor. It's almost even like a little bit of a tail tuck. Two, three, 30 seconds. One, two, three. If you do yoga, you can use the stability ball to get down into that yoga squat. Just like this. This is basically a yoga squat, right? You hold down at the bottom. 
10 seconds. Breathe through this. One, two, we never hold our breath. One, two, three, that builds up pressure in the body. Okay, we're just gonna take it up in one. Alrighty. Five second hold, here we go. Five, four, three, two, squeeze. Take it down low as you can, that's the point. Four, three, two, one, tailbone toward the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. You're kind of leaning back into the ball. You can rest your head. Three, two, one. If you can get low enough, oh, those quads. Five, four, three, two, one. Take your time. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh boy. Five, four, three, two, one. A couple more. Three, two, one. Go as low as you can. Do what your hips tell you. Three, two, one. You know who I'm talking to. Watch your hips. Dig it up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Up into that toe raise. Toe raise. All right, tailbone toward the floor. Pushing that back into the ball. Knees toward the toes, but stacked up with the ankles. So I just don't want your knees to be in. Open them wide. Adjusting as you go. Hopefully you don't hate me yet. <laughs> I said it was low impact. I never said it was easy. But that's how you know you're changing the body. You're getting stronger. <sighs> has to hurt, it has to burn. Hurt's kind of a bad word, it has to burn. It has to be tough. I tell my kids that all the time. Nothing good ever came easy. You gotta work for it. <sighs> one more, one more. Up toes. Oh. Okay. Three down, three up. One, two. You gotta do what feels good. If it feels good to wiggle, you wiggle. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, the shaking has already started. One, two, three. Right in that hip joint. That is a weird shake. One, two, shake. One, two, three. Squeeze, press through those heels. Stay with me. Don't give up. Maybe you do every other one. Maybe you take a minute break <laughs> and you skip this one and you get back into the next one. Listen to your body, do what you can. These are not easy. Press through the heels, feel the quads as well. This is hip, but it's quads too. One, two, three, 10 seconds. So the quads are the front of the thigh. They help support that knee and that hip. Just go up and down for me. And I already just threw an extra one there. This may be where you pray. Lord, give me strength. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. If your legs are stronger than mine, you may be like, what is she whining about? <laughs> three, two, one. This one just gets me. Ooh, burn, burn, burn. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Five. Four, three, two, one. Oh boy. Couple more. Five, four, three, two, one. Push through those heels. Squeeze up. Take extra time if you need it. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we have one more, I promise. One more. We can do this till it stops beeping. Oh boy, I'm gonna feel that one tomorrow. For sure, water. And then we have oh, some floor work. So we're gonna work a little bit into the core. <coughs> Not that we haven't been, <coughs> but this one specifically, 
is for that side waist. So we've been working all of this. Now we're gonna work here and here, and then we're gonna throw in a little actual, um, specifically for the tummy, move in. So here it is. <sighs> okay, so on this one, you may want extra padding underneath the hip. Okay, you're gonna lay down, arm ex the arm that's on the floor is extended out like a letter T, kind of a half T. Other hand behind the head, you're gonna lift those legs and crunch at the same time. So we're gonna do one side, we're gonna flip and do the other side. And then the last one, this one's a bit tough. So I'm gonna show you multiple levels, okay? It is a pike with a plank. So we're gonna walk down into this plank position here. So the first plank is a knee in pike. So plank to a pike. That's a modified pike. This is a full pike. Then we're going to, just for fun, lift, lift, okay? So it's going to be the pike, leg lift, leg lift. That is tough, especially if your core, your back is already toast. Maybe you just hold the plank. Maybe you just do those rolled pikes. Maybe you just skip that section. <laughs> That's fine. I would totally understand. So here we go. Let's get moving. Ugh. So place that ball between the feet. Again, if you don't have a ball, anything between the legs. Maybe you're just lifting that top leg with no ball at all. Squeezing the ball together works that inner thigh. Gently, as we crunch up and work the side waist, make sure you're staying stacked on your sides. So what that means is you're not leaning the chest forward or back. You're just right stacked, crunching right here. All right, we have 30 seconds. Oh, smile, smile. It's so fun. <laughs> and exhale, exhale. 10 seconds left, we can do this. You might be feeling that inner thigh. I know I am. All right, give me one more. All right, we gotta crunch. You can just roll over, but nobody wants to see my back. So I'm going to move here and then just immediately begin. It's just a big enough break really for a quick transition. I'm trying to be mindful of the length of this video. And squeeze up, trying to bring your hip up into your rib and your rib down toward your hip. That's where I want you to feel that crunch. <sighs> 10 seconds, here we go. Focus. Maybe sing along to some songs help distract you because this one is tough. Okay, I just like to come and roll out. Start by bringing the knees in maybe and getting the hang of it. The ball can be anywhere between your knees and the top of your feet. Okay, if you're doing a full pike, they really need to be more towards your feet. Don't let those hips drop. So either knees bent or hips up. Maybe it's a combo. Bringing the knees in. And as that ball moves, just readjust. If this is hard on your hands, you really should just hold a plank maybe on the floor. Oh, fast, fast. Ooh, hurry. <laughs> between. 
This maybe needs a little bit more time. <laughs> Crunch. Just do what you can. I struggled with that last one. I'm sure you could tell. <sighs> Means my abs and my low back have had it. <sighs> so. <sighs> it's also kind of hard on the wrist. So feel free to just do a forearm plank instead. <sighs> that works fine. You can do it with the feet on the ball. You can do the plank on the floor, whatever you like to do. It's your workout at this point in time if you're still with me. That's great. We have about 15 seconds. Keep going. You guys, we're almost there. I know you're tired. This last little bit, this last little push, this is what makes all the difference. One more. Now we're gonna flip to that other side. Take that extra time if you need it, okay? I know this is beeping at you. It makes you feel like you need to hurry, but you don't. Get into the proper position before you begin. Now, one thing you'll notice when you do each side, so maybe you notice one side is stronger than the other. Believe it or not, this side is stronger. I'm right-handed, but my left side is stronger. I have a much easier time on this side. Twenty seconds. Breathe. We only have one more move, and then we just have one more set, and we are finished. And you are good for the day, for a couple days, because we worked head to toe. So you're going to give yourself a couple days to recover. Maybe just do cardio tomorrow, and or maybe just yoga. Yoga so good tomorrow. All right. So walking out into the position you would like. I'm tired, so I'm just gonna bring knees in. Leg, leg. My body's telling me I need to modify, so I'm listening. Letting go of that competition or that ego, whatever you wanna call it with yourself. And listening to your body can be the hardest step. It took multiple injuries before I finally started listening to my body. Fifteen seconds. This is a tough one, so listen to your body. Modify if you need to. Nothing wrong with modifying. Lift like the legs. Finish it. Okay, one more. I'm just gonna roll over the ball, or at least my low back. Okay, so this one's legs. I know you don't usually end with legs. But we are. Okay. So this is big into the hamstrings. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm just as tired as y'all are. I'm ready for this to be finished. This is our last one. So six minutes and we're done. Glute lift, heel in. You're gonna keep those glutes up. The higher you lift, the harder it is. As you bring those feet in, if this bothers the back of your knee at all, I do not want you to do this, I want you to skip it. You can just do bridge with your feet on the floor. Come down and hover, okay? The second one we're going to do is a reverse curl with a hamstring squeeze. So you're gonna pull the ball in. You're gonna pull and squeeze as we lift. And then you can release here. Squeeze, lift. So we're working the low section of the body as we're also squeezing those heels in, working the hamstrings. It's a double one on that one. The last one is going to be a bridge, but your feet are gonna be on the ball. Hands are wide for stability. Lift, hover, lift, hover. Oh, it's so different on the ball. It really does get those hamstrings. So if it's too much on the ball, again, do that bridge on the floor. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready to be finished. Okay, hands on either side. Lift, heels in, pull your heels towards your glute, 
Come back up, keep those hips up. Exhale as you drive those heels into the glutes. Lift. Slow and control. No rush here. You can see how slow I'm going. I'm going slow because it's harder. Come up onto those shoulders. I want you to have no stress or strain in those shoulders. Don't tighten up through those shoulders. Keep the hips lifted. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Grip the floor with those hands. Warming up the hamstring. You'll also feel it in your calf as well, for sure. Maybe it'll be really, really, really a lot in the calf, or maybe it will just be a little bit in the calf. Just depends. Take it down. All right, bring that ball in. Squeeze it in. Low back down. Tummy tight. Squeeze. Lift that low back up. Tap the ball. Release. Squeeze. Release. Squeeze again. Shoulders relaxed away from the ear. Exhale as you squeeze that ball in. And don't just grip it. Squeeze. Feel those hamstrings. Mine are shaking. They're like jello. Squeeze and lift. Tummy is tight on that lift. Squeeze. Lift. Take your time. Low back to the mat. Okay, here's the first one. <laughs> okay, I can do this, I can do this. All right, keep those knees together. Press those feet down. Lift, either all the way down or hover. My hamstrings are toast, so I'm coming all the way down. It's so intense through those hamstrings. So maybe you're just doing every other one. If you feel it in your knees, your feet are probably too far forward. Bring them in. If you really want to be a rock star, you can do this with weight on your hip. I am not wanting to be a rock star. I'm fine. Right where I'm at. Don't let that ball get away from you. Let it walk it in if it gets away. This is when I like to get up and walk around the class. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> okay, on the heels. Lift. And out and down. Keep those knees together. And down. Lift. Remember, your modifier is a bridge, right? So you can even do a one-legged bridge. Keep that one leg up and just come and do a bridge here. Right, and then maybe halfway switch, or do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. It is your workout. Oh, tightened up through my shoulders, relax your shoulders. How much time do we have? 20 seconds, man. <laughs> I whine a lot, don't I? One more. Oh, I'll take it down. Oh, we can not slow it in. Okay. I like this one. Squeeze. Oh, down. Release. Squeeze. Oh, it's tough though. We are going to have a good stretch after this. Like I said, give yourself a day. You never want to work the same muscle group two days in a row. Always give it a day to repair. It's how you get stronger. It's how you prevent injury. I always recommend stretching. I started as a yoga teacher anyway. But stretching in my own life has really helped me with my arthritis. 
and to help prevent injury. I can't recommend it enough. Even if it's not in a yoga form, you just need to stretch. I exhaled all my air too early. There we go. Oh, release. Okay. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this. Here we go. Okay, watch those knees. You don't want them to fly open. As they get tired, that's kind of the tendency to open up in those knees. I want you to keep those knees just separated. Sometimes it helps to hold a ball or roll the towel in between your knees here to keep those knees behaving. I really, have, I really have to think about it. So I'm right there with you. Remember, these workouts are meant to be with you for a long time for you to grow with them. So I've purposefully made them difficult, even for me, obviously. Because I want you to be able to come back to them and see your progress. Oh, progress is very motivating, and so is finally being done. Okay, just take a moment here and just release it down. Oh, we are actually going to stretch using that ball. Keep an eye on the time here. So right now we're just taking a break. We're going to take those arms out to a T. And now I just want you to draw the legs to the right, keeping that left shoulder down, and then just look to the left. So only go as far as you can, making sure that left shoulder stays glued to the mat. Don't let it lift. Okay, keep it glued. All right, tummy tight and lift. And now we're going to go to the other side. We're going to take our gaze to the other side. Oh, this is for the back. It should feel very good. Tummy tight, head center. Bring it back to center. Let's go ahead and take one leg in. I want you to grab behind on the thigh, behind the knee, pull it in and just extend that other leg out. If you want it a little harder, you extend the leg all the way out. And just pull that knee in. So what we're stretching here is that glute. Now from here, flex your foot, take your heel toward the ceiling. So if you can keep it straight out of the hip, that's great. If it's down here, that's fine too. If you're feeling this hamstring, you can also use a strap or something. Um, to help pull your leg closer, but I want those shoulders down and I don't want your hand on your knee, All right? This is a very delicate knee joint. So I want you to either be above it or below it, but those shoulders aren't reaching, right? They're nice and relaxed. Now point your toe. So we're stretching through the front here and flex it and point it. And now we'll roll. Release through that ankle. The ankle worked hard. It was balancing a lot today. Switch to that other side. Those one-legged squats against the wall. I always feel my ankles there. And release. All right, let's switch. So the other leg goes out. We're going to bring that knee in. Squeeze. Shoulders down. Tummy tight. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, flex your foot, take it up to the ceiling, hands behind the thigh, relax. If it's shaky, that's okay. It's all right if it's a little, little, little. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. All right, point your toe and flex and point and flex and roll. All right, give it to me, go in the other direction. Beautiful. All right, and release. Okay, let's go ahead and roll up. So you're just going to take those legs as wide as the ball is, all right? You're going to walk those hands out. Hold it here. Shoulders relaxed. And then slowly coming back up. Exhale again. Just hold it there. Your feet are flexed. Pulling up on the kneecap a bit. Just getting that stretch right here. 
One more time, roll up. Okay, this time we're gonna do this, but the legs are gonna come together. Roll that bar as, ball as far as you can and reach. And release. Okay, go ahead and take the ball off to the side. So now we're just going to cross one leg over. You're going to hug that leg in. So if you're doing it with me, I'm taking the right over the left. I'm hugging in with the left. Right hand behind, lift your heart, inhale. Exhale, turn and try to look behind that right shoulder, dropping the shoulders down, pulling that left, or excuse me, that right knee into the chest with that left arm. Feeling the stretch through the hip, as well as that spinal twist. Pull that belly in and switch. Left over right, pulling with the right. Left hand behind, lift your heart, pull and twist. One more breath. Okay, release. Let's go ahead and come up into tabletop. So knees are underneath the hips, wrists underneath the shoulders. Curl your toes and just take it up into downward dog. Just hold it here. Think about it being just a press with the heels, right? So you can do this one at a time or both heels at the same time. This is a calf stretch. Go ahead and take those knees down. You can keep those toes curled or go ahead and flatten them. We're gonna drop the belly, look up, big inhale. Exhale, tuck and round. This is stretching out the spine. Inhale, drop. Exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Curl those toes, coming up one more time into a downward dog. Don't worry about your form here too much. Just focus on pressing those heels down. You can also just take it against a wall if you'd like. All right, bend those knees, walk those hands back, and come into a forward fold. Your hands are on the floor, on your body, head is dropped. You're releasing that neck. You can even just shake your hair out. Now let's go ahead and bend the knees, hands to your thighs. Round your spine as you roll up, right? This is more spine work. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and stretch that quad. So balance, bring that foot up, knees together, tummy tight, tuck and press. Hand against the wall. You can also stretch this by putting the foot against the wall and leaning back into it if you can't reach that foot. If you want a little more stretch, we pull it back, but we lift through that heart, shoulder blade down and together. And we're gonna go ahead and reach the other foot. Balance, tuck, press, soft opposite knee, lifting up tall, pulling it back. If you want a deeper stretch through the quad and the hip flexor. And release, give me two breaths, big inhale. Exhale, one more time. And exhale, oh, congratulations. You really should pass yourself on the back for that one. That is a tough workout. Congratulations for completing it. You are stronger today. Please hit like and subscribe so that I can keep bringing you videos. I want you to have a wonderful day and I will see you back here next time.